So I want to show you guys a joy notifier that still works without a melon loader mod. And uh, you can see there we got a basic joy notifier notification. And then we have the more prettier looking access overlay joy notifier. Now you can pick which one to use. Now if you don't have excess overlay, then you could just use the basic one. If you do want the nicer looking notifier, you do have to buy excess overlay. And basically the joy notifier is a feature in VRCX that can also hook into excess overlay. So um, if you guys do buy excess overlay, you can select that nicer looking. Uh, um, I'll have the link in the description. You can see the basic one and then excess overlay. But uh, if you squeeze your controller, which you can also program it to your menu, but if you squeeze it, you have join and leave logs. You could also have it show other stuff too, which I'll show later in the video. Um, there's also battery percentage for your controllers, for your trackers. You know, there's other little info there too. But um, this is a good alternative if you guys are missing out on a join notifier. Um, I'm going to put my headset down and I will show you guys some more stuff um, that you can do with the join notifier. So I'm going to head over and open VRCX. Now, like I said, I'll have the link in the, in the description for VRCX and XS Overlay. If you don't have XS Overlay, then obviously turn this off. But obviously, you're going to first want to sign in. So sign in, click this gear icon, and then you're going to want to click on notifications here. And it'll bring you to this page. Now, if you want the top basic one that I showed in the video, um, then turn this one on, turn that one on, and then you could also change the positioning of that top basic one. So you could pick where you want it displayed. Um, you can also, if you have excess overlay, I'd recommend turning this one on <coughs> and then turn the Steam VR one off. But um, you can also change filtering, which is for both of these style ones. So you can have all of these different things show on the join notifier. So you can see when people delete you, you can see when people add you, invite you, uh, requested invite. You can see when people change their status. If you turn that on, it shows if a friend, it, it basically shows what world friends are hopping to. So if they're on green or blue and it's not a private, it'll pop up the public instance that they're in. You can see when friends go online or offline. You have all these options which are very handy and this like i said this is not a mod it still works so i think this is really cool but um you can also have desktop mode notifications too um and then also for the wrist overlay you can configure the settings here now i have it start where the overlay turns on when i open vr chat if you have it on this, it'll open if you open Steam VR. But I play other VR games, so I only want it opening if I have VR chat open. Um, I guess if you have this on on Steam VR and you're playing another game, you could still use the overlay on another game and just kind of see when people hop online on VR chat, I guess. But um, you know, this is if you want to change from grip to the VR chat menu button for the overlay to open up. Um you know, you got all these extra options here. You could change your wrist feed filtering. So that little wrist feed basically will show all this if you turn it on. VIP is people that you have favorited in VR chat. And then obviously friends are friends. But um I'm trying to think of anything else that I might be missing. Uh, oh yeah. So I'll have the link in the description, like I said, for VRCX. So you want to head over to releases here, but whatever the latest one is use this one so the the latest one of the time of this video is this now i have this installed already but that's fine uh go over to this one if this looks like that just bring the drop down down so we'll click on this one that says setup now it's going to download now i have this installed already so i'm not going to uninstall it and reinstall it but i'll let this download and i'll click on it and show you guys what to do Okay, so I'm going to open up this setup, click more info, run anyway, select yes. Now I have it running and it's installed already, so I'm not going to do the whole setup again, but basically just click yes on those things that I showed and then go through the installer 
and then you just sign in. There's also a checkbox on VRCX, so it can remember your login, so you don't have to log in each time. But just kind of wanted to show you guys that. I'm sure a lot of people will find this very useful. So, um, you know, you got a custom Discord presence too, but that's for another video maybe. But I will see you guys in the next video.